mystery. If you wanted to catch your killer, you needed a confession or an eyewitness. But now things have changed. Laser technology can make fingerprints visible, even if they are a hundred years old. The saliva used on a stamp can yield a single cell for DNA testing. Or sometimes, an ordinary home video can reveal the truth about a murderer. In September 1995, this video was taken by a tourist walking at Pan Pacific Park in Los Angeles. At first, it looks like just another day in the park. Then, a small crowd catches the cameraman's eye. They are gathered around a man who is on the ground, trying to escape from a heavy-set woman who is attacking him. As she presses her forearm against his neck, the man struggles to get free. Then, he stops. The woman then takes a pack of cigarettes from his pocket and walks away. Several of the onlookers try to help him, but it is too late. The victim, a man named David Adir, is dead. That night, when the videotape was shown in the local news, several people called up to identify the woman on the video as Cheryl Mitchell, a woman with a police record. She vehemently denied committing the crime, saying the person in the video was not her. But nevertheless, she was arrested for murder. The public defender assigned to the case now had to prove that the person in the video was not his client. So he went to see Norman Pearl, a forensic scientist who specializes in video enhancement. Norman Pearl first digitized the video, and then, using a special computer program, began freezing several frames of the woman's face. But when he compared them to a picture of Cheryl Mitchell, it was still too difficult to tell the two women apart. Then the lawyer casually mentioned that his client was missing three fingertips from her left hand. This gave Norman Pearl an idea. He began searching the video, frame by frame, looking for a picture that would show the killer's left hand. Once he found it, he was able to digitally enhance the image, enlarging it many times its normal size. The picture shows that the woman in the video has all five of her fingers on her left hand. Even the shine on her fingernails can be seen. The videotape had proved that the killer could not have been Cheryl Mitchell. The police had put an innocent person in jail. Other people that were in jail that I didn't After 13 I months in prison, Cheryl Mitchell was finally released. <laughs> The killer of David Adir still remains unknown.